Hi, this is uh, Xavier from Army Recognition reporting from AUSA 2014 exhibition out of Washington DC. We are back on the AM General exhibit with Chris Van Slager, the VP for the GLTV program. Chris, thank you for having us again. Uh, can you give us some background information on the Bravo, please? Sure, thanks very much. Uh, the Bravo program is a new vehicle program to fill the capability gap for Department of Defense and the tactical vehicles. The cap capabilities that are lacking right now are the transportability, uh, uh, full transportability, the survivability, uh, advanced payload, um, higher mobility, as well as the affordability and reliability that you need to be able to complete the mission. We're right now, we've just gone through the phase of building uh, 22 prototype vehicles for the engineering manufacturing development phase. Uh, we delivered those ahead of schedule in August and the vehicles from all three competitors will now go through 14 months of government testing. Uh, that government uh, testing includes high speed, um, maneuvering on lanes, climbing uh, slopes and grades, uh, braking, as well as uh, thousands of miles of durability, reliability testing. Uh, once they've finished with that, then they will move into a selection phase to pick one of the three competitors for production. Uh, and that production decision will be out in the 2015 timeframe. So right now, all of our focus is on the vehicle, supporting it in, um, in test, and as well as making sure that we are responding to all the government needs for all their testing. Um, manufacturing is, is playing a big part into this from a standpoint that all of our 22 prototype vehicles are actually built on our production facility down in, in South Bend, Indiana. Uh, first, probably first time in, in, uh, in history that prototype vehicles were built with production tooling in the production plant. So we're well ahead of schedule on being able to produce vehicles once that decision is, is made. Uh, Chris, in your opinion, what is, in terms of performance, what is the strong point, the key performance point of the Bravo? Sure, There's ca the capabilities we have in our offer uh, include higher, much higher, uh, greater mobility. And that, that is in part due to our 300 horsepower, uh, very fuel efficient engine, providing about 25% more fuel efficiency, uh, a four wheel drive on a semi-active, electronically controlled suspension. Similar to what you see in automotive uh, applications today, commercial vehicles today, that help the driver, our suspension in combination with the, with the engine provide that same uh, sense of what is going on as well as taking corrections so that the vehicle does not uh, uh, roll over or the vehicle does not make a, um, uh, gets itself into a unsafe situation. Um, beyond that, then we also have survivability. We have full 360 degree survivability in the Bravo. Uh, it's a unique application in that it's a kitted hull. It's modular, scalable, so that right now it not only meets the threat, but we're able to go ahead and, and quickly unbolt the, the, uh, the hull and bolt it back together to be with higher, uh, with greater protection should the threat change in, in, a, in a wartime environment. And we have various levels that are associated with it. So in a peacetime type of envi environment, we don't carry all the weight and we can maximize fuel efficiency, uh, improve reliability because you don't have a lot of weight on all of your suspension. We also have, as part of this, a, a integrated data system. Uh, it, 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 it allows the warfighter to, to be connected to the network. It allows the, the occupants of the vehicle to be aware of the situation all around them uh, uh, at any one point in time. The other thing about the vehicle is, is our commonality. Um, below the, 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 the cab level, the body level, we're at 100% complete commonality. So, so from a, uh, a maintenance as well as from a cost standpoint, we're very, very efficient in that uh, there's very little deviation from parts or differences on, on the vehicle. And uh, finally, 
uh, in your opinion, why the Bravo will come out as the as the winner eventually? Well, we're we're the only light tactical vehicle fleet manufacturer for the Department of Defense. We've been that way. We've been that for the last 50 plus years, starting back in World War II, and, and through our last 30 years of, of history with uh, with the Humvee. We've taken all that knowledge and experience and applied it to uh, to the Bravo to be able to go ahead and provide the capability to the uh, to the uh, Department of Defense. All right, Chris. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank for you. Time. Appreciate it.